Here's a slightly different application of the Pythagorean theorem. We have a description of a triangle that doesn't really have any specific lengths. So we're going to have to use variables to put in place of the three different sides and see if we can solve for all three of them. The information we're given says that one leg of a right triangle, so we do know we can use the uh, Pythagorean theorem, which is nice, is five units longer than the other leg. And the hypotenuse is one unit longer than twice the length of the short leg. We need to find the dimensions of the triangle. So we're going to let the short leg, the short leg be x. Then the hypotenuse is one unit more than twice the length of the short leg. So the hypotenuse would be 2 times the short leg plus 1. And the middle leg is 5 units longer than the short one. So it's x plus 5. So now we have a way to describe each of the three sides. And we know that the short leg squared, so x squared, plus the middle leg squared, x plus 5 squared, should equal 2x plus 1 squared, the hypotenuse squared. So if we go through and simplify, we have x squared plus, if we FOIL this out, we get x squared plus 10x plus 25 equals 4x squared plus 2x plus 2x is 4x plus 1. And then put everything on one side, simplify. We have 2x squared subtracted from 4x squared gives us 2x squared. So we've taken care of these two and this one. 10x and 4x, if we subtract 10x from both sides, we'll get negative 6x. So taking care of that and that. And then subtract 25 from both sides, we get negative 24. And that's equal to 0 because those are taken care of. Divide everything by 2 and we'll get x squared minus 3x minus 12. Then we can plug our three values for a being 1, b being negative 3 equals, little equals, and c being negative 12 into the quadratic formula. So we have negative negative 3, so negative negative 3, negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And now we simplify and we'll get positive 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 plus 48 48 minus 8 over 2. And that's going to equal x, obviously. And then we have 9 plus 48 is 57. So we have 3 plus or minus the root of 57 over 2. If we run that through a calculator, we get 5.27 or negative 2.27. So those are our two solutions. And then we need to run them back through and see if either one of them doesn't make any sense. Well, obviously, if we're looking at the sides of a triangle, negative 2.27 doesn't make any sense because it can't be a negative length. So that one goes away. The third one, 5.27, if that is x, then our short side would be 5.27. Our middle side would be 10.27. And our long side would be 10.27 plus 1, or 11.27. And yeah, that seems reasonable, so we'll buy that answer, and we're done.